talking about it. I think everybody was talking about them before they aired the Super Bowl ads. Which ones scored big and which ones bombed? And Dave Rhaegar is a creative director at uh, Air Marketing. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had you had one eye on the ball and one eye on the ads yesterday, Absolutely. Right? I have to tell you that since I'm a pet lover, my favorite commercial was the Doritos Man's Best Friend. What did you think? Uh, well, <laughs> it's pretty good, but uh, I had my own picks, and that's the thing. Everybody has a favorite. But look at these little guys, Dave. Come on. <laughs> so cute. And it, that was kind of a theme going on during the... Uh, the commercials, right? Lots of pets. Lots of pets. They always work. All right. For the most part. Which was your favorite? I think my favorite was, again, going back to dogs, it was the uh, the Dog Strikes Back. It was a VW commercial that had the um, the dog that was getting in shape so he could chase that brand new beetle. Yes, exactly. And I thought that was a clever idea and a way to show some interest in this brand new car. And Look at that cute dog. He's so beautiful. Yeah. And then just this whole, the whole premise of this, I think, is just a brilliant way to look at it. It's a whole new, fresh perspective on how to sell a car. My favorite thing was when the hot dogs dropped in front of him and he didn't exactly. even bat an eye. Right. That's a great scene. That's a great touch. Exactly. Cute, cute dog. Love it. There you go. <laughs> how about your second? What was your second favorite? My second pick was, um, was Audi the vampire pa party that they showed. And the thing really? is, vampires are so popular now, and yep. everybody knows what they do, and the idea that they would gather together in the in the forest and have this party is kind of intriguing. But then for Audi, which is normally a sophisticated car and, and more performance-driven, they uh, they went with this sort of humorous direction. I thought that was really nice. Oh, that's the golden demo, though. Do you think people got it right away? That why they they may not have, but it makes you think. It makes you want to think. Well, what was that? And what was really happening here? And it's just these headlights or new headlights that are just like daylight. So I thought that was a clever way to, to show how can't, they're vaporized once he pulls in to get to the party. So. Can't go wrong with uh, with vampires these days, right? No. All right. What about oh, poof? There he goes. What about number three? Number three, I have to go with the uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, or really? Matthew Broderick's. Okay. I think Matthew Broderick still could almost pass I'm for a high schooler. He still looks young, and exactly. still, lo no. still looks like he's getting away with something. Um, and I think it was fun just to spoof that whole movie. We know it so well, and uh, it's just a fun way to again approach getting things done with your Honda CRV. So. Yeah, absolutely. Now, in your opinion, was there a big loser? You know, there were several. Um, I thought the, the, the ads this year were kind of so-so, mm -hmm. but there was one that stuck out, and that was, for me, Career Builder with the uh, chimpanzees, the guy who works and wants to get a new job or should be looking for a new job. And I agree. A few years ago, they really did well with this. They had several spots that were running, and they were great. But this time, it's kind of a lot of the same old stuff. There was really no surprises here, nothing new that was intriguing or, or really at least drew my interest. Well, and that's what we're all waiting for, you know, is the, the ads, the ads, the ads. But with the ratings, unbelievable, what, 78 shares, something like that. Was anybody really a loser in the ads, honestly? <laughs> well, if you can pay the the three and a half million to get it on there somebody's going to see it at least three and a half million per, per second 30, 30 per second yeah and right. you got a hundred million people who are watching and and so good or bad and again everybody has an opinion but you're going to have something going on there you'll get some buzz yeah well we both our favorites had pets involved do you think right. that was the theme going on this year you know there was a lot of pets and they were used well but i think overall for me this year there was a lot of car ads yeah um and they seemed to dominate and uh it was uh, it was interesting and i thought some of them hit you know hit the mark they were yeah. doing really well that's fun to talk about good to see you thank you Thanks thank you so appreciate much. it